begin by going to safari val.net continue go to login under your account type in your battle.net ID from there go to manage my games then you go to download game clients you'll see all the options here down here on the old Mac with the operating system of Snow Leopard or older click Mac for both when those, when those get finished installing go to the next step the next step after we have it installed is to patch it this step is extremely important if you do not patch it the game will not work correctly when you carry it over you must patch it to the next version by connecting to battle.net before you copy the game over. This is extremely important. I cannot stress this enough. Also, please forgive some of the video on this. This is on my older MacBook. So I'm using the same exact video method, but because it's older, not as powerful, the video looks a little awkward at times. But be assured that it's completely running normally. It's merely the recording tool. After that is patching, you'll be carried to another screen that has even more patching. It's just more of the same, really. Just wait for it to finish. After that patch is finished, just, the game should load normally. Again, the video is a little weird. But at this point, the game is completely playable. This is on the old Mac, remember. This is before we copied. I just wanted to double check to make sure everything was working. The screen glitches do not happen on the normal screen. This is just because of the video. So we log into Battle.net just to make sure everything is working normally. We don't have to do this. I was just ensuring that it worked before I went on to the next step. So we just look at more of the same stuff. This brings us to our next step where we copy the game over to the new Mac. So you go to your system preferences. sharing, file sharing. Also do this on computer one. Computer one is the computer that has the old operating system and the game files. Give me a second as I do the same thing on computer one. After doing this, you can X out of sharing for now open up Finder, then go to Shared. It should show the other MacBook you are using. Connect as. This is very important. Do not put in the name for the computer you are using currently. Put in the name and password for the other computer. This will give you the rights to go on anything on their computer. Usually folders are going to be just general stuff. You want to find one that's just the username because this has all their things. Previously, you put Warcraft 3 on the desktop to make it easier. So just go to desktop, Warcraft 3. Now you see all the game files. So you simply drag this onto your desktop or applications folder. Either one works. So we're just going to go applications. It should take anywhere from 10 seconds to a couple minutes to download depending on your connection. I'm using Verizon and I also have both computers going through the Ethernet cable, so it's going to be pretty quick. The last step is a little tricky. I just tried out myself to get it to work and actually worked. So in your applications folder, in the Warcraft 3 folder, go to the Frozen Throne. I'm going to show you real quick. If you try to open it normally, you're going to get a bug error. See, you're going to have that. Don't worry, just ignore it. Right click, show package contents. Click contents. 
Mac OS, then you'll see something called the Frozen Throne, which is really small. The funny thing is, if you click it, there's Warcraft 3. And just to do a little testing, we're going to see if it actually works and plays a normal game. So here's my profile, just normal name. We're going to go to... I might. I don't think I have any saved games. I might, but I think I, it, when I reinstalled it, yep, it got deleted. That's fine. So we're going to try a campaign. I'm just going to see if it's playable. Last night it was. Let's go with Night Elves. Always fun, doing the campaign. Now note that the game has really old resolutions. The highest it goes is around 1024 by 1200. So they're going to be slightly awkward. Your monitor, if, it, if you have a wireless one, or a, a different one than is normal on your computer, if you have, if you have a laptop, it would be fine. But your monitor might spaz out for a second. That's normal. Like you just saw there. Yeah, but here's the game's running fine. This is the Frozen Throne. You know, the other one doesn't have this campaign. So that's cool. So I'll get this on YouTube as soon as I can, and we'll go from there. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my video.